okay so if we change to parameters right here let's click on this bool okay this will be our first parameter which will be of type bool and name it as idle okay and then after that let's create another bool by the name of walk then another bool by the name of running and then the next one and also the last one will be the jump but actually we can make this jump a trigger so if we click on trigger and then name it as jump that's it now let's connect all of the animations by transitions so let's add a first transition to our walk and then from our walk back to idle and armed and if we click on this transition right here just simply remove this as exact time zero and right here make the walk true then select this other one which is from walk back to idle right here remove as exact time zero and then make the walk false and also make the running false as well because we will get back to the idle when the walking and running is set to false okay if either walk or running is true then we don't want to go back to the idle okay after this let's make a transition from idle to run and then from run to idle click on this one the first one right here remove as exact time zero and this time make running true then select the other one remove as exact time zero and right here make running false that's it now let's create another transition from the walk to running and then from run back to walk select the first one remove as exact time zero and right here make running true then select the other one remove as exact time zero and now make running false okay and as you know that it will go back to idle when the walk and running is false so right here we are making running false and then if we click on this transition right here as you can see the running was uh, set to false in this transition so right here running is false okay running is false and then when we go back to the idle we make the walk false as well so the condition will be then true and like this the player will get back to idle now let's make a transition from jump from idle to jump and then from jump back to idle select the first one and right here make the jump trigger true then select the other transition from jump to idle remove that and then simply make the idle true and that is it for the transitions and conditions okay now if we select the first one it is already set to loop time now let's select the walk and make sure that it is also on the loop time click apply okay then select the run make it to loop time click apply and as you can see now it is in loop time and the jump will be the same now we have the transitions and parameters conditions added now in the next video we will apply this all by using script to our player so for that catch you guys in the next one